Hey, so today I'm going to do a review of Angelful and World After. They are the first and second books in the Penryn and the End of Days series, I think that's what it's called. And they're written by Susan E. And I love them. They are so awesome, so amazing. They're just, they're probably like one of my favorite books of the year, or my two favorite books of, the, of this year maybe, I don't know. They're just, they're that good. They're so, so amazing and I'm at such a huge risk for this video to not like actually say anything of like consequence or something. Like I'm just gonna like, I feel like I'm just gonna gush about this book and say how much I love it without actually telling you anything substantial about it. So I need to focus and to get it together and like say some things that make sense so that you can understand why I love this book and then you will love it too because you will love it. You will love it because it's so amazing. So this is spoiler free for both um, my reviews of Angelful and World After so let's get started with Angelful. Angelful is Basically, it's set in this post-apocalyptic world. Six weeks previously, um, angels descended onto Earth, and with them, they brought just absolute chaos. There was all these natural disasters, there was floods, there was earthquakes, tornadoes, all the things that you could think of. And also, these angels aren't so great. They aren't so nice. They are majestical, but they're, they're just not nice at all. They're just fierce, and they're warriors, and if you get in their way, they will kill you. So, yeah, that's that's a thing. So it's a post-apocalyptic world. Everything is in chaos. You should be afraid of everyone. Like, the government is basically gone. The angels are scary, and you need to stay away from them. And there are also gangs that have taken over kind of the cities. And you should be afraid of them too. And basically, you can't trust anyone. So there's this girl named Penryn, who's 17, and her sister, who's in a wheelchair, and her mom, who's crazy and who thinks the demons are talking to her. Um, so that's Penryn's family, and she is in a city and she has decided that she needs to take her family and get away from the city and get to like a more isolated place to just get away from the craziness to a less crazy place, but still crazy, because, you know, apocalypse. Um, so she decides to take her family, and as she is going, she stumbles across these angels who are fighting each other. Um, it's basically one angel named Rafi? Ruffy? Ruffy? I think it's Ruffy. I'm not sure. Um, and these other angels who are attacking him, he's outnumbered, it's only him against these other angels. Um, and she decides, for some reason, to help him. And she throws him um, his sword and he's able to like defend himself. And as she is doing this, her mom disappears, her sister is taken by one of the other angels, and she's basically left alone on the street with like a really weak Rafi? Rafi? I don't know. And herself. Her family's gone, it's just him and her. Um, and so she makes a deal with him, she, you know, makes sure that no one gets him while he's all weak, and kind of protects him and helps him, and he will help her to find her sister, who is somewhere, who knows where. So they are traveling across post-apocalyptic um, California, because that's where it is, and that's kind of where the story picks up. First of all, the characters. The characters are so awesome in this book. So realistic, so believable, just the things that they do, the things that they think, it's it's just so real. And they're all interesting. I liked all of them straight away. They're all interesting, especially the mom. I love the mom so much. She is so crazy. She like drew on like a dead body, like with lipstick on the dead body. And like her um, Pinrin like came and found the body. And she was like, oh, my mom has been here. Like, and her mom has no concern for, like, actual dangers. Like, when her mom is in really dangerous situations, she doesn't care. She just is worried about demons who are trying to get to her. <sighs> I feel like we have a connection, which is probably a bad thing, because I'm not crazy. Or am I? No, I'm not. I'm not crazy. I don't think the demons are talking to me, but I just, I felt connected to her. Um, so the characters are so incredible. The setting is awesome. The setting is like a movie, it just, it's one of those books where it's so seamlessly done where you don't even notice that the setting is being described so well, but you feel like the effect of that, like you can just see everything. And there's not like overwhelming descriptions of stuff, but you just, you just like can see everything that's happening and it's just like a movie and it's awesome. It was fast paced, it was action packed, and it was so interesting and I just couldn't put it down, like 10 pages in I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna stop reading this until I finish it. And there was a perfect balance, like a perfect 
balance of creepiness and weirdness and it just was awesome. It was much more than I was expecting for a YA book in regards to like the creepiness of it and I just loved it so much. It was just awesome. I love creepiness. Um, and yeah, so those are all the things I liked about the book. Now onto the things I didn't like about the book. There are none. I liked everything about this book. There was nothing I didn't like and I don't think that's ever happened before. I think there might be like one book where I did a review about it and I had nothing bad to say. But yeah, this is one of them. This is a book that I just have no bad things to say because it's just perfection. It's so awesome and you need to read it and if you didn't figure it out yet, I am giving this book 5 out of 5. Now into World After. World After is the next book in the series and I'm not going to actually like give a description of what happens in the book because that would be a spoiler. Um, but it's just what happens straight after Angel Fall and yeah, it's not as good as Angel Fall. Um, but that was to be expected because Angel Fold was freaking amazing. But I'm still giving World After 5 out of 5. I still loved it so much. It was just as enjoyable as Angel Fold to read. And it was just, it was so awesome. It was such a strong, solid sequel. And it just, I loved it just as much. But Angel Fold was just like a little, a little bit better. It was just, you know, a little bit better. Like, Angel Fold was like perfection. And World After was like 98% perfection. Um, it got darker than Angelful, it was darker and even creepier. It still kept that balance, but it was just even darker and we got to like see more of the details about why the angels were there and we got to like see things that were happening because of the apocalypse. One of the things that's focused on in World After are Pinrin and her relationships with her mom and her sister and in that her kind of faults are highlighted. Um, and you know there's always a risk when you like show in very specific detail, because that's what this book did, um, a main character's faults, because you know, you might not like them, and that's a thing that's bad, I guess, but I really, really like that. I really like to see the faults of Pinrin, to, to see her in this really difficult situation, and to see, um, you know, just the faults that were in her in her character, and, and the difficulty that she was having in dealing with, with things that were happening, because that was so believable, and it just, it made her character even more real, and it made the situation even more real, and, you know, you got to see her, her mom in even more detail, and I loved that, because I love her mom, and her mom was amazing, and you got to see her sister as well um, in even more detail, and to see her relationship with her sister and her mom's relationship with her sister, um, so that was awesome. I love that family so much. They are amazing, and just, oh, so good. So much is explained in this book, and Susan E. continues to do something that I am really surprised by, and I just love so much. This is such a complicated story, but there are like zero plot holes, and Angel Fall as well, and it just continues in World After. I, like, everything just fits together just so well. There's no parts that I'm like, well, that doesn't make sense, or what's that part missing. Like there are still some questions that I have but it just everything fits and everything makes sense and there's not like these gaping plot holes. It all just fits together so well. She's just thought of everything and it's awesome. It's so good. I cannot wait for the next book to come out. I think it's coming out next year. I hope it is because I need it. So that is my review of Angel Full and World After. I hope you enjoyed this. I had so much fun talking about these books. Just so much fun. Um, I hope you decide to pick them up. I will leave a link to where you can buy them in the description box below. And because I love this book so much, I've decided to do a giveaway. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So all you have to do to be entered into this giveaway is um, be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment with the word crazy in your comment. Um, that's just so that only the people who make it this far in the video are able to enter because they won't be able to just like go to the comment section and be like, oh, there's a giveaway, I should enter. Um, so there'll be less people and you'll have a better chance of winning and you will win one copy of Angel Full. Um, there'll be one winner and you'll win a copy of Angel Full from the book depository. And yeah, I think that's everything. If you're under the age of 18, then make sure they have permission to give your address to me because I'll need your address to send the book to you. And I will tell you who the winner of this giveaway is a week from today. I will put it in the description of this video and I will use random.org thing. And I will also just mention it in like a later video. So I hope you enjoyed this review and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>